Hello, my friends. It's Nick, the ASMR nerd, and welcome back to another relaxing drive in Forza Horizon 4. A lot of you have been requesting another one of these, so I figure it's high time I did one. Uh, a lot of you have also been asking if I intend to do Forza Horizon 5 videos when that game comes out, and yes, absolutely I do uh, intend to do that, but uh, for now, we're back in Forza Horizon 4, and it is a lovely, foggy-looking spring morning, and we are by the lakeside here. And I am driving a Subaru Impreza WRX STI, the 2005 model. Uh, I've always had a soft spot for Subarus. My dad used to drive one when I was really young. And uh, I just think they're really cool cars. I'd like to have a, a Subi of my own one day. And actually, I love the mid-2000s models, like this one with the classic blue with the gold rims. I think it's a fantastic looking car. So, as you may have guessed, based on the car that we've chosen here today, uh, we're going to be doing a little off-roading. It is the springtime right now in Forza Horizon 4, and that means that the forests in this game are really pretty. There's uh, lots of wildflowers and things like that, so we're going to go for a relaxing nature drive today where we get to enjoy the great outdoors. So let's, uh, let's get going, shall we? Oh, and many of you will be happy to see Today, we're in a right-hand drive car, <laughs> which I know a lot of people have taken issue with over previous episodes, saying, oh, the game's set in the UK, but we're driving uh, left-hand drive cars, but not today. Today, we've got a proper right-hand drive car. Look at all the blossoms here, like cherry blossoms here. This is really nice. Can take a little look as we cruise by. How picturesque, how pastoral, but actually, actually, <laughs> we don't want to go too far that way because where I wanted to go is just over here. So let's, let's head back this way and uh, let's go for a little gravel road, uh, lakeside drive. Apologies for that thing up at the top there. That is the one UI element that I'm not able to get rid of. It appears no matter what, pretty much. So, but uh, it'll be gone in another six seconds. So that's not so bad. And gone. So, the sun is just rising, starting to paint everything gold. And this gravel road winds its way along the lock here. And this thing's gonna tra track our speed, but <laughs> that's not gonna matter. Because, uh, we are not about taking this quickly. We're taking it slow today. Let's get inside the car and just enjoy the sound of the gravel under the tires. And that revving, that throaty rev. Gear up one notch here. So we're not revving quite so high. Let's 
Okay, I guess that's the one other UI element I can't get rid of. <laughs> the races and beauty spots and interactable points along the road are uh, always there. You can't turn them off. flowers out here. Look, if we take a look at the right window there, look at them. Isn't that nice? We're going to see plenty more of those. Planning to head off into the forest here. Oh, but first, we're going to go for a little dip. Guys are ready for a little swim. Let's pick up a little speed and get a splash. Shut the bumper cam. Just enjoy the full screen view. It's a little bumpy, as one might expect on a gravel road like this. But it's a pretty gorgeous view. Those mountains in the distance. A lock, which we're about to splash through again. What view do we want for this? Let's do. Let's do this one. Let's go. Here we go. It's kind of fun. actually see in the far distance on the left there some lovely snow-capped peaks. Ah, uh, there. Oh, look at all the birds flying by. It's actually really idyllic here right now. Just hanging out in the countryside. Still early morning. Gosh, I love the quality of these car models. Isn't it nice? The reflections. My driver looking like a tool in there. <laughs> He's got, <laughs> got all gold stuff on right now. It's pretty funny. It's pretty horrendous. More birds. Where they're going? Nobody knows. The ambient environmental sound design in this game is really nice, but you don't hear it much unless you actually slow down, because otherwise you just hear, you know, the engine noise, the wind, the cabin sound, whatever, depending on where you're situated. But when you do stop and just enjoy the environmental sound design, is quite pleasant. This 05 Subi, when you, or when you really rev it, the engine's very, it's got kind of a rap kind of sound to it, which is very satisfying, but uh, when you're cruising along pretty slow like this, relatively low RPM, it kind of drones a bit, which 
is also kind of nice from a relaxation perspective. See what I mean? Nice view out the window. You can see up ahead, of course, the uh, hot air balloons at the Horizon Festival site. Unfortunately, it's another one of those UI elements I can't remove. Is that label on there? But ah, well. Honestly, as an ASMR uh, gaming content creator, I think if I could ask all developers for one thing, it would honestly probably just be uh, the ability to completely disable all UI elements. Oh look, it's starting to rain. Getting a few little raindrops on the camera here. That's nice. Ooh. <laughs> that was definitely my fault. I <laughs> could have been way worse. We just barely kissed. He just barely kissed my door. Sorry, buddy. Okay, all right, we're fine. Carrying on then. Tally ho. Good day to you, sir. Wow, you stopped short pretty quick. Hold on, hold on, little mini. Let's get back inside the car. I love the the atmospherics going on here. The sun coming down through the trees on the left there. The fog. It looks like the rain has stopped though. That's too bad. I think we have been through here before in another in another uh, one of these videos. I think we're gonna end up somewhere different though, after a while I start hitting some of the same places. This is really nice up here. The waterfalls. It's another one of those beauty spots. Maybe we should stop at this one. Ah, we'll keep going. Oh my goodness, these look like players. Players getting in a mess. <laughs> this guy, oh, he just disappeared. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's take a look at the beauty spot. Why not, right? What can possibly go wrong? but what I really wanted to show you was my idiot up there on top. Look at him go. You don't really get to see his damn or his outfit fully, but uh, it's pretty great. It's a very pretty little spot though, isn't it? Worth noting, this is also the first time, I think, that I have recorded one of these in 4K. Uh, Another mini. Sorry, bud. Oh my gosh, did you just see a car fly? Yeah, a guy just totally flew across the top of the screen. That is funny. One of the uh, jumps in the game kind of yeets you over those waterfalls. So that's probably what's happening. Of the danger sign jumps. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is the first time I'm recording this with my RTX 3080, I think. Or at least the first time I'm recording it at native 4K with everything cranked to the maximum. As high as it goes, graphically. So this game doesn't really get prettier than this. And it is still a gorgeous game, even though it's, oh, coming up on three years old. Is that right? I think so. I think so. In, uh, yeah, not that long. I think this is October or November. It's going to be three years since this game came out. Oh, we've got a little path here to the left. I did say we were going to do more off-roading. I haven't really been doing that, so... This looks like more of a walking trail, but, you know... I think it'll be alright. Let's go for a little wander through the forest. Here, let's get out onto the front bumper. A little more revy than I intended. I like the front bumper view through the forest. It's almost like going on a little hike. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of ridiculous in some ways. Yeah, let's gear down. Because I'm having a hard time when I get going too slow. That's why I was revving hard. Ironically, trying to keep the RPM low by getting your gearing high, I ended up revving too hard because I was trying to get going. Look at these wildflowers. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, let's do this. Oh my goodness. Where are we going? I honestly don't know. I did kind of have a plan here. But I feel like maybe I've... Oops. Just back up to avoid that tree. There we go. I feel like, yeah, maybe I... wrong turn somewhere or got a little off track but that's okay. We can always take a look at the map if we have to. Why don't we do that? Why don't we just take a quick peek here. Oh yeah. Okay. We're still in the forest here. Alright. Let's just go this way. Go this way. Honestly, not quite sure where this is going to take us, but it's pretty, though, isn't it? Oh, where did our trail go? Oh, here we are. It's some kind of main road. My main road, I mean. Something that's not a walking path. Does this go somewhere? I don't think so. But you know what? It does look really nice down there. So let's, let's just head down there. Let's see what we find. ravine, it looks like. Ah, a little bit of water. Got to splash down. I got 
some muddy roads here. That's for sure. Could have gone off to the right there, but let's... Maybe we will. We're kind of it's just skirting along a, a clear cut right now. Which is... Not quite as aesthetic as I was hoping for. We just tootle off into the bushes here a little bit. Hmm. There does appear to be a trail up here. I think right here. Yeah. This is nice. This is really nice. Look at all the look at all the wildflowers. In fact, you know what? Let's just let's just stop here for a moment. Let's just appreciate the sights and sounds of the forest, eh? Hear the birds. Our Scooby's looking a little muddy, but looks good that way. Let's carry on, shall we? Just take a slow drive here up this track. back into forest walk mode. <laughs> the only problem with this view is I find sometimes the camera so bumpy on the road that it's it's a little bit like dizzying. I like this view too. Love the carpets and wildflowers. There's those mountains in the distance. You can just barely see the snowy peaks out there. Lots of ferns here. like we've come to the cross road here. Left or right, guys? I have a funny feeling that right's going to take us back to the main road. I don't really want to go there, you know? I kind of just want to keep cruising the way we are through the forest like this. Let's say a left. Yeah, let's do that. A little side trail here. Let's do that. 
They're like, I guess, I guess they're motorbike tracks. And walking trails. So many flowers in here. Look at them all. Pretty gorgeous. And actually, if you look ahead, what's that up there? Oh, that's not what I meant. Not the tree in front of us. <laughs> the giant log. <laughs> Which we have now just slid right through. It's the lake. It's the lock down there where we started. Way down below. This trail loops back up the hill. Sure. Let's follow it. It does look like we found the clear cut again, which is not as aesthetic, like I said, as where we were before. Oh, you know what? This isn't even a trail. This is like a little, oh, maybe it is. That was like a little creek. Just like a little trickle of water coming down the hillside. It's hard to tell. I think it is a trail though. Why don't we cut right here and see if we can get a nice view? Because as barren as the clear cut may be, it does afford us a really nice view out across the lock to those snowy mountains. Right up in here amongst the ferns. Pretty nice. I like it here. Can pull pull back a little bit. Look at the grass blowing in the breeze. You can hear birds. I thought I heard a sheep a moment ago. More snow-capped peaks to the north. There's that sheep. <laughs> it is a gorgeous morning indeed. And you know what? I think we're going to wrap it up right here. I think that's where we're going to call it for today's drive in Forza Horizon 4. But I do hope that you enjoyed this uh, nature drive off the roads, down by the lake, uh, through the forest. Got to see some pretty flowers and trees and appreciate some of the sights and sounds of nature. And uh, enjoy this gorgeous Subaru in its natural habitat. Uh, as always, please, if you'd like to see another one of these, let me know. Let me know down in the video uh, comments what kind of cars you'd like to see, uh, where you'd like to see me drive, and uh, I suspect I'll be doing at least another one or two of these before Forza Horizon 5 hits in November of this year, which I am very excited for. So you can look forward to that too, a little ways down the road. But for the time being, thank you so much for coming along on this drive with me. And I look very forward to having you back here next time. Bye for now, my friends.